What's going on guys? It's Omni York and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about potentially a huge nerf to a lot of garrison commanders. Now, by the time I upload this video, I'm sure there's going to be a couple of other content creators that probably talk about this in a video, but I wanted to make this video anyway, because this was brought to my attention by a lot of people in my kingdom. And a lot of people are talking about this right now. And that is the change in wording of some of the garrison commanders in rise of kingdoms. Now, one of the things that Lilith said in their, uh, in game mail was that one of the things they want to change with this update that just went live today is the description of skills on commanders so that way people kind of understand a bit better what those skills do which is good that's amazing and i'm glad to hear that however what ended up happening was a lot of skills changed and a lot of people are panicking and confused so what am i talking about well let's first talk about charles martel his third skill says while this commander is leading the garrison of your own city garrison troops gain 10 percent increased attack and the watchtower gains 10 percent increased defense this is a big change to this skill because prior to the rewording of this skill it was understood that as long as charles martel was a garrison captain this would apply however this is saying that it only works in your city so what does that mean that means if you're defending with constantine martel against attila takeda which is arguably like the only decent counter in season three of kvk to attila takeda um now that isn't going to get 10 percent attack now let me preface this all by saying there are two possible scenarios for what exactly is going on here the first scenario is that this skill was nerfed and it used to apply in flags and forts and now it only works in your city the second scenario is that it never worked in flags or forts uh, and now the text just has been changed to reflect that I don't know which it is, and I'm not sure how we could definitively answer that question unless the devs come out and say it. But what I'm looking at here is different than what we understood just a couple of hours ago, right? Prior to this change, it was understood that Charles Martel, as long as he has part of your garrison, no matter what garrison that is, they would get this garrison attack bonus. This gets even worse because Charles Martel is not the only commander that was changed. Yi Song Ye, fan favorite. Everybody loves Yi Song Ye. I hate to see this thing change, right? I hate to see him change. Third skill while this commander is leading the garrison of your own city, garrison troops in the watchtower gain 10% increased attack. So, same thing. It only says in your own city. Now, this did not change for every commander because we can look at somebody like Constantine. His second skill, uh, I'm sorry, third skill says while this commander is leading the garrison of your own city or a stronghold garrison troops gain 10 percent attack blah 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 so we can see that there's a difference in wording here right we can see constantine specifically says your city or stronghold whereas um martel and isong Ye only say your city so again is this a massive nerf or did these talent or did these skills never work in those scenarios and they should have been i don't know regardless this is a big change let's look at sun tzu he is an epic commander second skill while this commander is leading the garrison of your own city garrison troops take 10 percent less damage this is a pretty big change for season one of kvk right because sun tzu was commonly used as a flag defense commander in season one because you don't really have that many options in season one let's look at herman while this commander is leading the garrison of your own city we see it again let's take a look at kusunoki of your own city okay we see it again what about pelagius uh okay we see it yet again do we have one here on olji there it is so what we're seeing here is all of the older commanders right so we're looking at all the epics everything in the epic tier was changed right and all the commanders i just showed you right this supposedly um it used to work in flags right i assume that's the case i assume that philosophy of war used to work in flags and forts and now it only works in your city same thing with kusnoki and all the ones we just talked about it used to be the case that the text at least implied that those skills were working in flags and forts the other thing is obviously martel and isong Ye, some of the oldest commanders in the legendary tier they also were changed however once we get to constantine and newer we see the text did not change or at least it's clarifying that it works in strongholds right we can look at wuzetian her second skill 
same thing your city or strongholds so what we're seeing here is that it looks like everything after that first batch of commanders um, remains commanders that can be used for flag defense uh, and everything in that first batch of commanders it can't be right which is really weird and i'm really it, it, it doesn't make me feel good right this is this makes me nervous and hopefully by the time i post this video we'll have some more answers as to what exactly has changed i know a lot of people are contacting vip support right now a lot of people are asking uh the game devs are trying to right i'm sure the uh, the sponsor creators are probably reaching out to their contacts at lilith to get some more clarification perhaps by the time i upload this they will have already addressed this in a video either way whether or not these commanders were nerfed which would be the worst case scenario or if the text simply changed to clarify what was happening Happening. Uh, either way i think lilith has to compensate players who've invested heavily in either charles martel or isong ye because well if they were nerfed i think that goes without saying right because they were just straight up nerfed anytime that legendary commanders are nerfed in rise of kingdoms they typically give uh, universal heads as compensation uh, for that commander depending on how many sculptures you actually used in that commander um so that goes without saying but even if it was just a clarification of the text i still think there should be some sort of compensation right because this text is all that we have to go by uh as far as the effectiveness of this skill right now if we look at something like his active skill like yeah i mean you know this is something we can test right so of course if there's a if there's a miswording here we could test it and say oh it's actually kind of not working maybe we shouldn't invest in that commander right but a skill like this it's a passive so it's not like you'll ever see it in the battle log popping off at any given time uh, so the only way to know if this skill is worth investing in is by reading it and if the text if the description of this skill was wrong since the beginning of the game well then people have been misled into the effectiveness of this commander the entire time and you know again even if even if literally like statistically nothing changes but this text here right uh, uh, implying that this never worked in flags i still think there should be compensation here for being misled into thinking that the commander was more effective than they actually were now is this a game-changing nerf let's say it is a nerf right let's just assume it's a nerf it might not be i don't know uh maybe they just didn't add maybe this is just wrong maybe it used to be right and now it's wrong that's totally possible right and i don't want to jump the gun because i've I've, I've learned my lesson i've jumped the gun in the past with the healing update i was quick to talk about them patching it and it ended up being still broken to this day by the way uh, but anyway i don't want to jump the gun okay so let's talk about this for a second does this make martel and isong ye bad commanders i don't think so right i don't think so now isong ye i think doesn't really change that much um it still would suck to see this nerf this third skill but isong's primary usage is his massive aoe and his rage regeneration that's mainly what people use esong for right and so this change wouldn't be that huge for esong if it is a nerf he still should give you know we should still get compensation for it but charles martel that would be a pretty big nerf because charles martel paired with constantine is one of the only good uh, counters to attila takeda in season three of kvk so if this is a nerf right we don't actually know but if it is then what this means is effectively your flag now has 10 percent less attack when defending against attila takeda than it did prior to the patch that's a massive deal right uh and, and i'm talking about season three specifically but Constantine and Martel are a pretty uh, common counter to Attila Takeda regardless and so you know Attila Takeda has been uh in the game for a long time and they've been trying to balance Attila Takeda for a very long time and so you know when they they up they up updated um Constantine as a way of you know countering them right I mean they they added uh what is it they added on his uh, third skill the receive reduced damage from cavalry normally normal attacks that was in response to Attila Takeda, right so they've been trying to balance the, that rally combo for a very long time now and then to go ahead and again we're assuming but if this is a nerf to nerf one of the commanders that's part of the counter that they worked to build seems counterintuitive right i don't understand why they would possibly do that so i don't know guys um i again i hope this isn't a nerf because if it is then what it what it implies 
is that uh, Lilith would rather see people start investing in newer commanders, which is just not possible for people who are, you know, free to play players or old players who've been investing in old commanders for a long time, right? I mean, everybody pretty much invests in Yi Song A, whether you're free to play, low spender, high spender, whatever, people invest in Yi Song A. So to have them start to slowly again allegedly or potentially nerf these commanders is a little bit alarming because that means that they could continue to do this in the future meaning maybe a year from now we see the same sort of nerf for somebody like constantine right and so this is where we get into dangerous territory and i would like to think that this is not a nerf i would like to think that it was always this way and now they're clarifying that doesn't necessarily make it better, but at least it would make me feel better about them not actually nerfing some of the older commanders or some of the commanders that people are actually using on a day-to-day -day basis. As for the epics, uh, I don't think any of these epics were really ever used as garrison uh, commanders to begin with, except for Sun Tzu, and this would in fact be uh, a nerf to Sun Tzu, although it still works in your city, so it's still good for free-to-play players. I don't know. I think that the, the changes to the epic tier aren't things that while they may be nerfs i don't think it really matters because again you never were defending a flag with epics unless it was like season one of kvk so regardless uh really the biggest change here comes in the form of martel and isong a guys what do you think about this what do you think about this let me know in the comments section below what is lilith doing okay what are they doing uh i hope to see some very quick clarification or at least some very quick compensation for this change because well because that's just that's just fair dang it that's just fair and i would like to think lilith would want to do what's fair for the players i don't am i crazy for thinking that i don't know maybe i am of course if you have more information about this change please let me know in the comment section below now let me quick uh talk about something um one of the things with the update is they added these underlined terms in some of the skills and as you can see here if you click on it it'll tell you exactly what slightly wounded units are what i would like to see is lilith could you please explain what a stronghold is like dude seriously we've been asking what is a stronghold for like a year now or a year and a half like it's it's crazy people have been asking forever to clarify because there is actually no mention of stronghold anywhere else in the game the word stronghold pretty much only ever shows up in the skill text you don't see it on and anywhere anyway regardless, i'm just rambling now okay but i would like to see them at least underline stronghold and tell us exactly what is it what is a stronghold okay what is a stronghold please i need to know people need to know okay it's it's important but anyway guys if you have more information about this please comment down below i need the clarification the entire community is kind of uh, from what i can see and i know i'm being hyperbolic right now it's not the entire community a lot of players don't even have an expertise to song yet, right um but there's a lot of players who are concerned about this change and i think that the more information we have the sooner we get this information the better if you made it all the way to the end of this video please don't forget to drop a thumbs up on it it really does help on my channel a ton and i do greatly appreciate it if you're new around here subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video and as always all my social media links are in the description below if you want to follow me over there on instagram twitter discord or on twitch where i do live stream rise of kingdoms at least once a week finally there is a link in the description below to download rise of kingdoms absolutely for free for your pc or your mac it's a program called blue stacks and you'll experience less crashes than if you're playing this game on an older phone so again it's free to try out that program there will be a link in the description below go ahead and check it out with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace